Hi guys, welcome back to Delora Studios. Let's continue with our campus basics. This time we're going to be looking at animator visibility. So what is animator vis visibility in campus? This is just the component or the way to hide or show a composable. You no, know? children inside animator visibility can use modifiers. They could animate, enter. They could use a twin. They could. I use a crossfade, different form of animation, just to hide and show components, basically. So let me just show you how to do that. You could use it for different functions. You could use it to hide. You could use it to show your component. We all use it effectively every time in, in logics, in, 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 um, in presentation. So let's get to it. We have our main activity, which extends the component activity. And uh, we're setting the content with the animate visibility theme where you pass in a surface container and you use a background color from the theme. That's where it's going to actually call on the main screen, which is the composable that will be triggering at this point in time. What's the main screen doing? We'll have the box visible, which is a mutable state of Boolean at default is true and um, on click trigger which is actually going to um, switch the state uh, pass the particular um, boolean flag to the box visibility at the point of click we set up our columns where we're going to actually have a modifier of padding 20 dp and an al alignment of center horizontal and we have a role in the column. What's the role doing? It's going to fill the maximum width uh, with, an, with the horizontal arrangement as well as space in volume. So it's going to actually take up the space. We have a crossfade, which is uh, a motion animation. Uh, what this crossfade is going to take, it takes two parameters. Uh, the state, let us know if it's true or false. Uh, and the animation spec, which is a twin. Uh, in milliseconds of 5,000. Now, if it's visible, which is what we're going to actually be working with, visible is a Boolean. Uh, if it's true, it's actually going to show the custom button and um, with the background color of red and you have the on-click setup with it. And if it's false, it's going to show, um, it's going to, if it's true, it's going to hide, so to say. And if it's force is going to show at uh, the uh, custom button as well, which is a, a composable uh, with a background color of magenta. So let's get to quickly look at um, the custom board button. This is just a button whereby uh, you could actually trigger uh, the state a mere button. It takes in a text string, the target state, the on-click lambda, and the background color which is defaulted to blue now on click of this is going to trigger the on click and pass its targeted state the on click that was declared earlier on this which is a boolean switch so that's what the button is doing and um we're going to have the animated visibility itself there's a spacer at the top just to uh, separate it from the button and um, what this animated visibility is taking is the uh, the visible, which is uh, actually a boolean, and the enter and exit, just like what I've mentioned earlier, just enter exit animation, and uh, it has a row with a box inside it, two boxes. The first box is actually going to uh, create an animate enter exit fade in fade out with um, the twin duration 5,500, the size of the box, the background is blue, the first one, a spacer uh, just uh, beside it, so it's actually going to sit side by side in a row. The second box, uh, the next animation there, it's um, slide in vertically, unlike the fade in fade out, we have slide in and slide out vertically. Uh, with uh, a twin at duration of 5500 while the size is 150 and the height 150 with a background color of red 
So basically, we're going to have a button to trigger two boxes and uh, with different colors, grid colors. Um, uh, the first is blue, the second is red. When you click the button, it triggers the on click method over here to actually set the state to false or true based on the point, the time of clicking. Uh, when the state is false, it takes kind of animate and slide out, uh, do the, the slide inside, slide out for the first, and do the second animation for the other one, which is sliding vertically and slide out vertically. And when it's true, it returns back to focus, basically. Just to hide and show and adding a touch of animation, basically. That's what we are trying to demonstrate here. So let's quickly look at this uh, in our emulator. Fine, we have a button hide. We have the grid um, square uh, shapes. So when we trigger the hide, you could see it kind of animate and um, disappears. That's hidden at this point in time. But when trigger show, uh, it brings back to focus with an animation flow. So you could add this to um, your composable. Uh, you could add components, you could show component, you could add a touch of animation to it. We have numerous animation you could play around with. So you could tweak this, you could you know, bring in different form of animation so that suits you. So that ends uh, our, our tutorial for today. Uh, the next video will be based on the bottom bar. Let's talk, let's talk about bottom bar in, in Composable. We have a lot to talk about. We'll be picking them one after the other. Let's uh, uh, enjoy the basics of Compose before we get uh, our hands dirty into deep integration, deep implementation, where we start consuming APIs, dealing with uh, different data, uh, saving to database, working with our uh, integration working working with our uh, uh, dependency injections and let's do some um, advanced stuff with compose thank you very much